All right, guys. So welcome back to the Brewster Show. Uh, in today's episode, I recorded a game called Psych. It is a psychological horror thriller type game, and um, I totally forgot to turn my mic on throughout the whole first intro section of the game. So I uh, just wanted to let you know, so you know you don't get to the video and it's like, well, hey, well where's the audio? That was the reason. So, anyway, I don't want to take up too much of your time and enjoy the video. It's now been a whole year since I've seen my family. After the accident, I was in hospital for a very long time. However, there was none nearby, so I had to be placed in one in the next town. Unfortunately, I can't remember the accident either, and I only know that I drove off the road in a car. And because of this accident, I developed a behavioural disorder. More precisely, a post-traumatic stress disorder which made me imagine things and caused me to behave uncontrollably. So I was transferred from the hospital directly to the nearest clinic for mentally disturbed people. No visitors were allowed there. Not even my own family. It took me almost the whole year to deal with the behavioural disorder, and even now it isn't normal. So I'll probably have to live with it until further notice. They didn't want to talk to me about the exact causes and said that such disorders can often occur in such accidents. Anyway, the day after tomorrow is my little sister Sam's birthday. She'll be 16, so I thought that on the day of my release I would meet Sam directly and we would go to our parents' house to celebrate her birthday. She called me right after my release and said that she'd found a park nearby where we can meet. It's already quite late so I have to hurry. Oh, a new message. From Sam, perhaps? Thank you. 
That was an accident. Guys, this whole time I realized I did not have my mic on. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we missed any of that at the beginning. Okay, this game is this game's called Psych, and it's a psychological horror thriller game. And I was just commenting on where we were, and like the road and the street, and then. I go, can I, can I open this car? I click it, and then the alarm goes off. And I freaked out. So, that's what happened. Okay, break. Coffee machine. Espresso. Can I get, like, I would like the the espresso mocha yeah the espresso mocha please I want a mocha with a shot of espresso okay get on it oh okay never mind you can't do this oh man I'm so fucking weird okay let's let's keep going Sam? Hey! It's not Sam. Hey, you! Come back! Shift to sprint. Interesting. Oh, shit, I can change the intensity of my flashlight. That's cool. So this is the flashlight. Okay. Where am I going? I saw him run this way. Did he run this way? Hello? Sam, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I need to talk to you. It's very urgent. Did I just hear a bunch of screaming? A girl getting murdered or something? Wait. Isn't that <clears throat> the letter from Mum and Dad? What is he doing? He... <sighs> right. Okay. They told me about a deceased relative. Hello, Alex. We are not allowed to come and visit you according to the psych... The psych... What? The, the psychiatry. We even stood outside the door of it on July 27th and wanted to see you. But they wouldn't let us. Oh dear, we are so sorry for what happened. You certainly fear... Feel. No, you certainly feel for... But it's... Your fault, Alex. When we got the call from the hospital that you had been involved accident with Sam, our world fell apart. We went straight to the hospital, but you were in a coma. Every day we visited you, Alex, the day you... You did see us, remember? Unfortunately, you were then transferred to the psychiatry department because of your diagnosis, Aunt. However, we only noticed this when we saw that you were no longer in your room, and when we asked, that was, when we asked what was happening to you, we were informed. We want to encourage you with this letter and tell you that we beat hard on yourself. We are sure that when you, the psychiatry, you feel, you will feel, please be with yourself and hold on. Love, Mom and Dad. 
Okay, that letter kind of hurt my brain. Okay. How do I exit out of that letter? Okay, like that. I heard a scream over here. I'm gonna come over here and see what it was. Hey, come back! You blanked and now it's gone. Can I go over there? A code? I don't have a code. Telephone? Maybe I can call some help. So there's a phone number I can call, but I don't, I don't have a phone number I need to call. How do I, can I, can I activate anything on here? I don't know how to activate anything on the phone. A map piece. Can't get any soda. Isn't that lame? This looks just like Sam's school bag when we took a spin in my new Mustang. I remember. Sorry, there's some in my eyeball. I'm a murderer, Emily. I'm a goddamn murderer, and I'm so fucking sorry. I didn't mean it. I really didn't mean it. Please believe me. I was so, so pissed that you kept this from me, and when I came to you, you're already... My God, Emily, I'm so fucking sorry. I know I can never make it up to you, but I promise I will take care of Jack with all my strength. I'm such a bad father, such a goddamn bad father. Now Jack will have to grow up without a mother, and it's all because of me. I wish, even though I knew I won't happen, that we will see each other again in the next life. <clears throat> I hope you are well in heaven. Your husband, Paul. Hell, that's fucked up. Did he kill her? <clears throat> he must have killed her. Is that a... What the hell? I... No. I don't want anything to do with this. God damn it. No. Okay, that's, that's Emily. Is 
So I think by now I'm just kind of collect all the map pieces. I'm not really sure what I'm exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, so far, it seems seems pretty chill at the moment. This looks like my old diary. Ah! Wait. That is my old diary. What's it doing here? That's not my phone. Where's that ringing coming from? Oh, God. Well, well. If it isn't little Alex. Who is this? Where is Sam? Don't worry. Do I Sam's look little Sam? to you? Who the hell are you and where have you taken her? I won't tell you until you do something for me. <laughs> At the entrance of the park, there is a power box that you must manipulate for me. You must not run, nor hang. <laughs> you have exactly three minutes. Starting now. A power box at the entrance. Okay. Okay. I'll hurry up. Owen, oh, by the way, if you can't make it in that time, then neither will your sister. Wait, you mustn't hurt her. I'll find that damn power box. I can't run. What do you mean I can't run? I can't run. I got three minutes and I can't run to it? Oh, God. The power box was at the entrance to the park. Am I on the right track? Yeah. I think this was the entrance. Yeah, I see it. So? There. I see it. What should I do exactly? Well, your time is up. Say goodbye to your no. sister. No. Wait. Sam. Ah. Uh, God. Ah. Uh. Sam. I have to find Sam. What? Sam? Wait. But how can that be? Sam! Where are you? Are you okay? Wow, wait. I know we haven't seen each other for a long time. But no need to shout like that, Alex. <laughs> but I was just... Hey, you just got released today. Please don't overexert yourself. Where are you anyway? I'm kind of lost in this park. I'm near the south entrance. Oh, I was just there too. You just have to... Sam! Sam! Of, Fucking hell. Of course. There's always something like that in these horror games. Gotta be a map piece somewhere around here. There's a map piece. I keep hearing something. I think something's following me over there. What the? What the what? What the what? It said what the? Hey, who's taking photos of me? 
I didn't say you could do that. Bro, this is this is getting creepy. This is starting now. It's starting to get creepy now. I'm looking for her. I gotta look for her. I don't even know where she is. towards the humming because I'm a big dummy and I love going towards the danger. This is a bad piece over here. Uh, okay. Oh man. Is this uh <laughs> Emily, my beloved Emily, how could such cruelty have been done to you? Now I stand here looking at your merciless, beautiful body in the moonlight. Even as a corpse, you are so beautiful and unique, my dear. You should have you should have had Jack for me, not that idiot. We could have been together forever, Emily. With me, Brian, with me. It makes me so mad that you took him and not me. I was supposed to be your husband, damn it. Why am I getting so upset now anyway? I could have fished your body out of the pond and... Oh, Brian, oh, Brian, you bad finger. What are you up to? I'm going to have to pull myself together and butt this body, Emily. I just can't resist you, beautiful. Don't worry. Once I have Jack, everything will be fine. I'll be the father Jack deserves. Everything will be all right, my dear. I love you, Emily. This guy is just crazy, bro. What a crazy dude. Pretty sure she won into you and you just have to take the hint. Here, if you want to read that, you can hit pause. Because I'm not reading that. It's just too much. I need that last map piece. Not last, but I need another map piece. For me, Alex. Sam, where'd you go? I'm here, Alex. What the fuck? Alex. I don't see you. Turn around, Alex. <sighs> oh God. I'm just gonna take a nap here on the floor. Collect my thoughts for a second. 
I remember for years I was trampled on. I was bullied, beaten, mm. kicked, laughed at and excluded from everything. All my life I was an outsider. Poor kid. But my family, especially Sam, were the only ones who believed in me. I was so, so sick of being put down by everyone that I decided to change my image. It's funny how someone like me always had a dream of owning a Mustang. A car that screams self-confidence. But when I turned 25, that dream came true. And I was so desperate to prove to Sam that she had a cool brother that she could be proud of. I was absolutely sure I could do it. But then... My head. Where am I? I uh, meet Sam in the park. Okay, who's this guy? Excuse me, have you seen a girl with brown hair? About 1.6 meters tall? Sorry, can you hear me? I'm looking for my sister, Sam. She wanted to meet me here in the park, but I can't find her. Are, are you deaf? I think he's deaf. Alright. Let's go this way. What happened? Yeah, I know what the power box is. Pretty sure it's at the beginning. Here's the entrance. I'm just gonna put this map piece in the board. Okay. I think I need, just need two more now. Is this not the power box? Footprints. Where do they lead? Why can't I just take this instead of using my phone? You would think that's a better light. What is that? Someone's left the door open. This is... This is a terrible... Flashlight. A terrible flashlight. I have to close my eyes and do what I was taught in the clinic. Take a deep breath and exhale deeply again. Space. Is this where the electricity is controlled? That's where, yeah. Looks like a switch is missing. 
Someone was definitely here to sabotage the power box. I should follow the footprints. Should follow the footprints. I like this. This is making me feel like I'm a cat and mouse. I feel like a detective. I'm trying to find people. I'm not trying to run away from some psycho. What the hell? What the fuck just threw me in here? Excuse you. Could you not? Hey, stop it. Let me the fuck out. For real. Let me out. Quit it! Just let me out! Fucking I need dirt. to get out of here. What a dick bag. Just let me out. Let me out. <laughs> ah. Hey, were you doing that to me? Were you the one who locked me in the container? Hey, answer me, you jerk. I don't think so. So now we can talk all of a sudden. So can you tell me how you didn't see me being locked up in the container, even though you're the only one sitting here? Am I really the only one here? Gotta be kidding me. Are you not? I mean, you seem like you are. What the fuck? Whatever, I'm just gonna go put this back in the power box. What? Color coded? Are you kidding me? Okay, that doesn't help me really. Let's see, I want to see how long it stays up. Okay, so it's okay. Green, red, yellow. Maybe that's it. Green, red, yellow. Green, red, yellow.
Okay. Stop trying to get me. Do you see that man up there? Look at that. Hello, sir. Do you perhaps have some candy? She. This isn't this isn't Samantha. This is an entity fucking with you. You're so pathetic, Alex. You're running away from reality. What? What do you mean? Who are you? The accident should have killed you, Alex. Look at you. There's no spark of joy left in those eyes. You're a hopeless case, a failure. How do you know, Mike? What the hell is going on here? Who the hell are you? You'll find out soon. I can't have imagined that. Oh, God! I've got to get out of here. <laughs> I have to hide it. Uh oh! Maybe I could hide in the powerhouse. He's chasing me. Hide in the powerhouse? Well, that's far. Run through, run through the forest. He's still chasing me, I know he is. Okay, he's not chasing me no more. What? How can it be like this? It was already open. I need to call Sam. Sam, listen to me. There's something running around in the park. I don't know what it is, but it's got a knife in its hand and it's following me. I was trying to hide in the powerhouse, but the door's locked. Oh, okay. I just saw something that looked like a key. I'm near the street workout. Really? Okay. I'm coming. Hide somewhere and don't move. The street workout? What the hell's that? Where's the street workout? Why does it look like that? Oh, because I'm getting dizzy. Okay. The street workout, right there, A1. Hopefully that guy ain't gonna come around the corner anytime soon and stab the shit out of me. The key to the powerhouse should be somewhere around here. I heard a whistle.
found it. Oh! Run away from the crazy man. Run through here, he can't get you through the trees. Can't get you. Get in the door. Shut the door. <laughs> Oh, that music. Fuck off. <laughs> Hello? Sam, I found the key and managed to hide in the powerhouse. If you can make it here too, we'd be safe for now, but please... Please, be careful. The powerhouse? The one next to the entrance, right? I'm on my way. Please open the door for me as soon as I get there. How do I know it's you? Sam, please hurry up. Alex, it's me. Please open the door. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that wasn't her. When I was in the hospital, it quickly became clear that something had happened to me. I started seeing things I wasn't supposed to see and behaving strangely. Once my wounds had healed, I was sent straight to the mental health clinic. I was supposed to learn to live with my new self there, but something... Something kept stopping me. I have only bad memories from my time in that clinic, but the same nightmare made me feel worse day after day. I felt like a criminal. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Uh. Uh, what time is it? I should get up. Ah, hmm. uh, okay. Of course, it's Sam's birthday today. That's perfect. I can pick her up from school later on. I should call her to congratulate her. Get your phone and call Sam. Okay. Well, uh... I think that's the end of the chapter one of this game. I think I'm now in chapter two. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a chapter one, part one, chapter two, part two, and a chapter three, and a part three. So that's going to conclude this episode. I hope you all liked it. I did. I definitely liked this one. It was a lot better than the last game. Anyway, uh. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.